Welcome to Movie World Plus, the place where we talk movies, plus streaming, plus whatever I want to talk about, and I want to watch the Wakanda Forever trailer with you guys. All right, here we go. I saw it dropped. Here it is. We're going to do reaction, and I'll give you my thoughts on Black Panther 2 and the state of Marvel. Here we go. I miss Chadwick Boseman. I didn't think I'd get so emotional with it. It just looks so, whew, this looks so real, raw, and then so filled with action. And my God, Namor, look at that shot. And Namor, holy, what? Oh man, Ironheart is showing up to the party. Uh, holy mo, I'm, I'm, whew, I'm excited for this one. I'm still excited for this one. I love they're not showing us too much. They're showing us just enough. We're mourning Chadwick. They're mourning T'Challa. My God, what a cast. Angela Bassett's time to shine. They have such an amazing actress, and she gets to step up and really do this. Oh, my God, I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I love it. I'm, I'm excited. I'm getting a little too hyped. <laughs> I'm getting a little too hyped, which makes me always a little nervous when it comes to these movies. But holy moly, uh... Oh man, the act, the the I just the emotion on these actors is real, and you feel it because this isn't just a character that died. This was a real person that was such an incredible person, Chadwick Boseman, and it just breaks my heart that we don't get to see him continue this this character of T'Challa. And I know there's a lot of people out there who have been fighting for recasting T'Challa, which I've heard and I support. At the same time. <sighs> And seeing Ryan Coogler, who I feel like affected more than any of us, um, it really does feel like he had a plan to adjust this to show respect uh, and and continue to tell the story of Wakanda and where it goes. And uh, to see that final shot, which we've all sort of know this was coming, but that sure looks like Suri to me. And she looks badass. <laughs> she look. I can't wait for all the freaking dumb videos where oh, Black Panther goes woke. Uh, but that sure looks like Suri to me in, in that suit. I assume. And uh, damn, that looks tight. That looks amazing. There's just so much cinematic quality. To this movie, the scale, the emotions, the underwater stuff. Um, it just looks so good. I'm so uh, Marvel has gotten me so like frustrated i gotta be honest she hulk man i guess i could argue it's cute it's nice but it just pales in comparison to this stuff this real heavy stuff and i haven't i i felt it 
at times during Love and Thunder with uh, God, uh, what's his name, Gore the God Butcher, Christian Bale brought some real uh, gravitas, some like weight to that movie where there were motions of actual drama in there. And I just, I haven't felt that in a long time in the MCU. I got to be honest, it's been very sporadic. I'm rewatching WandaVision with my daughter. She wanted to watch it. And it's clever. It's so much better when you binge it. Uh, it's like a better movie because it's, it's just that week to week wait when we are such a drought of MCU. It really affected my view. And I still have issues with it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, like what, who is Wanda as a character? That's the problem with a lot of these characters. She-Hulk, Wanda, um, even the new cat, even, you know, uh, the new Captain America, uh, I'm just confused. Like, I don't know. I'm there. I don't feel the weight I do with this character. This is a story we're already invested in, obviously, but there's just, there's just more to it. Um, I, f I really trust and Coogler to not screw this up. Um, you can just feel it on every frame of this movie, just how serious, but also like moving forward it is. Uh, my God, just everything, like the, the tears are just real. You can just see it. And I just, I'm, I'm, I was getting goosebumps and teary eyed as I watch this. Cause I just know this movie's going to wreck us. It's going to entertain us. It's going to wow us. And it's going to wreck us in knowing that we don't get Chadwick back. This isn't Marvel just killing off a character like they tend to do and then bringing them back through the multiverse. Like, he's gone. And that hits every time I see this footage, and I, I just can't imagine what it's going to be like for so many audience members. And I think th there's just more to this movie than we realize. And I think I, I due to the loss of him, and uh, this will, I hope, I feel it. I feel moments of this transcending sort of the MCU comic book movie and becoming a, another inspirational fantastic film which i believe black panther was yeah it's got some issues in the you know there's some issues in the see i don't know i got overall though black panther is a fantastic movie it's hard to, to knock that one at all like it's and in re-watching it it holds up it builds a new world it builds a new character and t'challa is probably the most boring character in there um it's a great journey, but you get so many other supporting, interesting characters. And now to really see those characters get their moment to really spotlight it <sighs> with the loss of Chadwick, <sighs> man, I'm in, I'm on, I'm in. I'm so impressed. What do you guys think? Uh, I can't wait for November to come to see this one and I will be reviewing it here. So if you'd like to hear my thoughts as it comes, hit that subscribe button. See, I do like certain things. Everyone thinks I hate all of Marvel. I could not be more excited for this film. And I hope that doesn't, heighten my expectations where I get disappointed and I'm sure some people are going to be out there hating on this I don't know why this feels raw this feels real this looks like so well directed and it's not really telling us everything I'm still dying to see how it all plays out in which case things could definitely upset me as we see it but I gotta say I'm, I'm pumped I'm pumped it's just enough to get me more pumped and uh, Wakanda forever Bring it to me now. I can't wait. And rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. My God, what a loss. Please go check out his other films. He was he was such a star. He had so much coming, and it's just so sad. And there's so many talented people in this cast, and I'm so glad they get to continue to tell this story. Um, I think if they had just recast him and they acted like nothing happened, it would have been pretty disrespectful. And seeing how they're able to sort of take this now and run with it, and I know there's criticism like we've all we've watched is this character of T'Challa die in between. <laughs> it's true. Infinity War, he dies. And what if he dies? Um, and now we're going to see a third moment of him dying. It's like, my God, they really just keep killing the character off. It's not ideal, but it's not like they meant to do it on purpose. I, I do think they could have uh, adjusted that. What if probably, but again, it was another opportunity for him and he got an Emmy for it. Uh, so I, I got to say so far while I was, I was hearing that to cast T'Challa out. I got to say, so far, these trailers are making me feel confident that Ryan Coogler has a plan. He's on it. And I can't wait to see Wakanda forever, baby, in theaters this November. Tickets are now on sale. Uh, get ready. It's coming. Uh, and uh, whew, it looks badass. Namor, man, I, 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 I'm I, still like, some of it looks a little goofy. Uh, but, uh, man, I'm so intrigued. I want to see more. I want to see more. Bring it on, baby. Wakanda forever, baby. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for all alerts so you get notified when we do reviews here on Movie World Plus. And thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. We'll be live over on Popcorn Planet talking the news. So join us over there or just watch my movie stuff here. Appreciate you guys either way.